Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some DIY toddler Montessori inspired materials that are super easy to make. No sawing, no fancy measuring. I was so lazy. I literally just used scissors and some hot glue. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I will show you what I've been making. The first material is a simple peg balancer activity. For this, you will just need a cork hot plate found at the dollar store, some golf tees also at the dollar store, and whatever things you have to balance on top. Once you've got all those sorted, you can go ahead and hammer in those golf tees. I didn't really measure or uh, make any sort of pattern. I just hammered in as many as I felt like. And as you can see, I put in about nine tees. The progressions that you can include for this type of activity are really great and really extensive. You can start off by balancing bigger things that are easier to balance just with a child's pincer grip. You can then move to picking up other objects as you see here I am doing with a pair of tongs. You can also find smaller objects like beads or objects that fall off a little easier like pom-poms to increase the challenge as your child masters each of the progressions. And I did have this material out on my shelf for a while for my little guy. However, he started pulling out the golf tees. So that's something to keep in mind. Perhaps invest in a thicker board that you can hammer in more. Um, or if you would like to add glue as a bit of a reinforcement. This next material is a counting or one-to-one -one ratio activity. And for this, I just used some of the sort of small, medium-sized artist palettes from the dollar store super handy these guys as well as random plastic lid caps that I sort of kept because I knew I was going to be making another one and for my label part I just had green pieces of paper with some glitter glue simply all you're going to do is glue the lids on here I am doing three in a row which is perhaps not exactly Montessori but it needed to fit and I'm what I'm most looking for in this material is uh, that practice of the one-to-one -one ratio so I just put all of them until they all fit and then wrote the number down and whatever fits inside works and I actually have all of numbers one through nine so far for this because I have introduced all those numbers to my toddler. So feel free to make your series. I didn't pay particular attention to making sure that all of the lids were the same size and color because the object of this activity is counting and only one object can fit in each of the lids anyway and the self-correction is already there in that it's the number seven and therefore there's only seven spaces. This next material is so easy to make. All you need is cardboard, some tape, and a random nature book that you've picked up in a thrift store. I just made sure that whatever book I chose had lots of different animals and lots of different pages uh, and was in nice color. So simply just cut out the animals that you choose and tape them to a matching piece of cardboard and voila, you have, you have 2D cards for language and, and matching activities. So this next material is a color scale matching activity where it goes from darker to lighter shades of a color. For this, you just need to go to your local hardware store and pick up those free paint samples. Um, I found ones that had sort of four samples of darker to lighter shades in one, which was really handy. I believe they were from Home Depot. So if you have a Home Depot where you are, then that's good to go. And once again, I just want to remind you that I don't ever strive to make things perfectly. I make them so that they're more functional and so that the basic gist is there. That's just my personal preference. If you are someone who is much more particular, you of course will probably be measuring and making 
it add up a little bit more nicely than mine. But you can see the basic gist that's happening is that I am gluing on the shades from darkest to lightest on the little wooden board. And then I have these little wooden discs that I found in Michael's that I'm just going to be uh, gluing on the matching shades too and that works for me and that worked for the you know three times that my toddler did it before he had mastered that and was kind of done with it so this is why I don't invest too much time in a lot of these smaller activities because I find in my household at least a lot of those kinds of activities don't last very long on the shelves so why would I spend a long time I'll also show what I did with uh, the same kind of concept but just even a little bit easier than wood just with cardboard and some popsicle sticks and these are just different shades of yellow but yes if the need for absolute accurate measurement and perfection is something that is important to you by all means adjust any of these to suit your own needs and where your own child is at this is just me and what works for me and my kids this next material was a really fun fine motor skill and sort of a pattern matching activity that I made and what you'll need for this is a flat wooden sort of board. Here I have just again one of those wooden artist palettes from the dollar store. Some wooden dowels and some of those really small clothes hangers from the dollar store. And also I uh, have some embroidery thread as well from the dollar store, but you can use whatever string you have on hand. This is just what I happen to have on hand. And what you're gonna do is you're going to glue all four of those dowels on the corners, and then you're going to wind the uh, embroidery thread around to make a clothesline. And as you can see, my gluing technique wasn't perfect which is fine by me and then I went and found some old felt pieces that I had cut out different kind different shapes and colors of clothing items and then put them in a little basket so that the skill here is using your pincer grasp to uh, peg the little piece of felt clothing and then put it up on the clothesline. And a progression for this is you can ask for color matching, you can have little cards that give you a lineup of different clothing items to put on. And this one was really, really successful with my toddler and I actually should pull it out again and use some of those progressions. But once again, lots of progressions for this one and working on a lot of control and fine motor skill. actually wanted to show this because it was an absolute fail, uh, but I still really like the idea of it. And so if you see this and you have a way to make it that is possibly better, I would love to know. It is sort of a, a riff on a Montessori uh, bead frame, but just with like the Montessori beads from one to 10. So as you can see, I had everything laid out and I made sure I moved the cat. And then as I started making it, I realized that it just wasn't gonna, my beads weren't big enough and I didn't actually have the right color beads. And then I realized that it, I needed to work harder to make the string tighter. And it was just one of those instances where I realized that me taking the lazy way out was perhaps not going to work. But I wanted to show this here to show that not everything that I try works and not everything that I make lasts even beyond me trying to make it. Which brings us to the very last material that I made on this little material making spree, which was a really simple and really fun little sort of flower posting activity that I simply used with a little spice jar from the dollar store and some beads and some of the pipe cleaners. So as I was sitting pondering about my other activity that I'd done before and I was like you know what I can still do something with all these things out so this one was really easy just make the flowers in however shape or form you like and they fit really nicely into those little tiny holes on the spice jar and that was it that was it on the shelf
And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found some inspiration from one or more of these. And I will catch you next time. Bye.